I share with you some uh, accidents um, that happens uh, before um, that involve uh, the mistakes that was done in pharmaceutical calculation. So as an example, in 1998, a baby died uh, uh, due to the mistakes in calculation uh, during the preparation of peppermint water by a pharmacist in training at the pharmacy shop in the UK. Um, this um, this pharmacist in training um, supposedly to uh, to calculate the amount of um, um, if I'm not mistaken is the amount of uh, preservative that was supposed to be added into the peppermint water but the preservative was uh, mistaken uh, for the strength uh, uh, for its strength and the amount that was uh, added in the in the product was uh, way much higher than the allowable limit for a baby. So um, the pharmacist uh, in training and the pharmacist in charge was sued by the parents and um, uh, they have to pay some fine due to the mistakes that they did. Um, exhibit number two um, is uh, a case that happened when uh, a new graduate pharmacist, again pharmacist in training, uh, miscalculated a pediatric dilution and gave 10, 10 times the supposed dose. Um, luckily, nothing happens because the mistakes was uh, was uh, catch up uh, very early. Okay, and the uh, third example is uh, a thirteen year old child or maybe a teenager, a pre teenager, suffered a seizure because uh, she she was uh, prescribed an adult dose of a drug. So this drug is uh, very uh, is very um, strong, okay. So uh, because the child was prescribed with the adult dose, um, due to the mistake, okay, due due to a mistake, so the child suffered a seizure. Luckily, uh, she survived, okay. Uh, but uh, this uh, has left an impact uh, to the uh, people involved. I'm not telling this uh, to scare you. But I'm telling this uh, to, to, uh, with the hope that you will, um, you will be careful. Okay, you will be careful. Okay, so today we will learn about percentages. So I think you have uh, heard about percent forever since you you are very small kids because uh, you know what what are your marks in your exam? It's ninety percent. So you know percentage, uh, percent, right? So in uh, con um, in pharmaceutical, uh, concentrations are usually expressed in the form of percentages. Okay, percent W over V means that um, the weight of uh, a substance in gram uh, in one hundred mL preparation. So, as an example, if you see uh, a term or uh, a sentence that say as an example, kaolin 10% W over V. It means that in the product, it has 10 gram of kaolin in the 100 ml preparation. So if there is 200 ml preparation, so the amount of kaolin would be 20 gram. Okay, so that's what 10% weight over volume means. So um, percent V over V or percent volume over volume means that the uh, the volume or the amount in ml in 100 ml preparation so if we say lemon syrup 25% v over v means that we will we will have 25 ml of lemon syrup in 100 ml of preparation and uh, the third one is w over w or percent weight over weight means that the weight of a substance in 100 gram of preparation. So if we say BWX 1% W over W means that in the product, there's 1 gram of BWX in 100 gram of preparation. So um, let's try this example. Okay, um, I give you three examples uh, and you would need to come up with uh, the amount of uh, each ingredient in the product. Okay. 